was it Truman? Alright, Truman wins the dodgeball game. He just fucking drops a giant dodgeball and stands in the one corner where it won't land. Killing everyone else, of course, you know, because a dodgeball of that size. <laughs> oh yeah, two dodgeballs. One for effect. <laughs> Bro, that's not a snipe. Sniping doesn't exist! I think there was a sub there, it just didn't go through. Whoops! There we go. Finally, my internet is back, yay. Nice. Cuban dodgeball crisis. <laughs> Truman just wanted to play dodgeball. That's not okay, dude. That's not alright. <laughs> Taking that one a little too far. Bro, okay, hold on. Can we set up dodgeball in AGDQ? It needs to happen, man. We need to get these gamers up. Doesn't have to be US president, nah, it can just be speedrunner dodgeball. Pixel would win? Bro, you should have seen Pixel at the trampoline park dodgeball, man. He was fucking garbage. <laughs> Though, to be fair, he did do that run up the wall and climb up thing that no one else was able to do. Like, he did that on the highest one. Oh, bring it, Will. Bring it. Bro, I have so much experience with dodgeball, you don't even know. I played dodgeball so much in middle school that uh, I've been hit in the face so many times that I still have little floaters just everywhere in my vision, specifically because of dodgeball. Like, you know those little fucking skin cell shits that float on the, like, surface of your eye that you just see always? I got those. A lot of them. Yeah, you're lucky if you've never had them. They're annoying, but you know. My favorite variation of dodgeball was uh, Landmine. It's something my, uh, I think my intermediate school played. Where it's free-for-all. You don't, like, leave the stage once you get out, though. You stay on the stage and sit down and like, try to grab people as they run past you. And if you grab them, they're out too. That one was fun. Dodgeball Battle Royale. Bro, oh, Mr. Beast needs to host that now. Thank you for the view. You know, honestly, I'd probably have a very good chance of winning an AGDQ High Pixel tournament depending on the mini game. I might be fucked if it's Sky Wars. If it's anything else, I have a chance. Because it's not Minecraft PvP Legends there. 
the only reason I suck at Sky Wars is because I have no sense of strategy. I just kind of go to the middle, hope there aren't already people there, and then chain strength. <laughs> That's my only strat. Focus time, Kappa. Nah, not until stepping A. Oh, you think Technoblade's better than me at PvP? That's cute. Okay, he is if there's fishing rods or snowballs involved. <laughs> I'll say that. I, I haven't practiced that nearly enough. It's pretty annoying to try to chain combos with rods and snowballs. No, this is harder than Solus 2, Kappa. Might be harder than Solus 3 as well. I mean, that that's, might be pushing it a bit, though. Frosted GH versus Technoblade at TanaCon. Oh, I actually messed up the method pretty damn bad there. I'm lucky it gave it to me. First person FC Solus 3 was good gamer man. Yes, if I FC this, I will complete the Infinity H gauntlet. Danny Johnson, murderous. I'm not kidding. Yeah, I have plans for what I'm going to do with the Infinity H Gauntlet, man. I'm going to make the community a more balanced place. Let's go. Raise RNG.
Whoops. Frostev. View. Where were you on the 20th night of October when the Solus series fell single handedly within a week by none other than Frosted GH? Where were you? I'm curious. Well, ha! Huh. The Mad Mad did it. Congrats. There's not much I can say other than I am now the owner of a completed Infinity Age gauntlet. And you know what I'm going to do with this? Power? You know what I'm going to do with this view? Everyone in the Clone Hero community now has my permission to delete the Solus series from their game. You don't need to play it. You don't have to. It's done. You have my permission to delete it. I know, I'm a benevolent deity. You didn't get snapped out of existence. I know, I know. Yeah, I don't know either. Subscribe!